Before we start our day, let us all stand. And I have here an audiovisual presentation for our prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of life today. You allow us to have another day to praise you and see your glory. Thank you for the love and protection, especially this time of pandemic. Bless us, Father, with your wisdom as we begin our class. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we think and listen. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Lord, we thank you and let your will be done in our lives. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, good morning, pupils. How are you today? Very good. I'm glad that everyone are safe and fine. Now, let's see if every one of you are present today. When I call your name, instead of saying present, I want you to think anything that surrounds you or you think that has a circle shape. Did you get it? Okay, great. Now, let's start with Miss Ancheta. Very good. Lastly, Miss Ventanilla. Very good. Great. I'm glad that everyone are present today. Now, I will group you into five groups. And I have here some colored papers, coloring materials, ruler, compass, scissor, glue, and I want you to form a big circular cutouts. Draw, design, and create the different cut parts of a circle. Did you get it? Okay, very good. Now, this group will be the group 1, the group 2, the group 3, the group 4, and group 5. Okay. Did you get it? Okay. Here are your materials for group 1 and other groups. Pass the materials. Now, I will give you 10 minutes to do your activity. And now, you may do your work. Okay, good job. It seems like each group has a unique output. Now let's see if your outputs are labeled correctly. So the circle has four parts. These are the circumference, the center, the diameter, and the radius. When we say circumference, it is, it would be the arc length of the circle. And when we say center, the center is the midpoint of the diameter of the center. And when we say diameter, a diameter of a circle is any line segment that passes through the center of a circle and whose endpoints lie on the circle or the circumference. And when we say radius, a line segment extending from the center 
to the circumference of a circle. And when we say radius, it is a half of a measure of the diameter. Or half of the, the diameter is equals to the radius. Okay. I'm glad that you still remember our yesterday's lesson. And you created an excellent output. Let's give everyone a Aling Junisha clap. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good, very good, very good. Now, let's proceed to our lesson for today. And it's about... Substitute 2 
times pi times radius. We have to copy this. Times radius again. We will going to have area of a circle is equal to one half times two. We're going to have one times pi. Times radius times radius, we are going to have radius squared. And area of a circle is equal to pi times radius squared. So, we will not include the 1 here because we have the invisible 1 here. Did you get it? Okay, very good. This is the formula of deriving, of finding the area of a circle.
So, area of a circle is equal to pi times 8 divided by 2 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So, area again of a circle is equal to pi times 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Remember that when we have exponent, it should not 4 times 2. It should be multiply itself. Like 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Now we have area of a circle is equal to Again, what is the constant value of a pi? Very good. 3.14 times 16 is equal to, area of a circle is equal to 50.24 centimeter square. Okay. Did you get it? Okay, I'm glad that everyone still follows. Now, I will give some exercises and I want to find out if you understand our discussion for the first Exercise, we have radius is equal to 12 centimeter. Number two example, find the diameter that is of a circle that is equal to 16 centimeter. Number three, we have the diameter that is equal to 20. Centimeter. Number four, we have a radius that is equal to three centimeter. Number five, radius that is equal to seven centimeter. I want you to get one half sheet of paper and I want you to solve these exercises on the board. And I will give you 10 minutes to solve it. Okay? Okay, time is up. Pass your papers. Okay, again, what is the importance of getting or deriving the formula of getting the area of a circle? Very good. And how about how to find the area of a circle? Okay, very good. It is important because we should know the size and the measurement of the circle. Now we will have a five item test to identify if you really understand our discussion. So, for our direction, I want you to find the area of a circle given its radius and diameter. So, I will give you 15 minutes to solve the given on the screen. Okay, very good, children. I'm glad that you understand our discussion. That's all for today. Goodbye and see you tomorrow.